So our main mission is to set adopters up for success with their dogs. We want adoptions to be successful for the long term, so we really evaluate and work with both dogs and adopters. We provide free training, we rehabilitate dogs with behaviour issues, and we help people who want to adopt choose a dog that's a good match for them and their lifestyle. We were approached by the city shelter to help them out uh, with uh, dog walking classes. So we are now helping fosters and potentially also going into the shelters to help the volunteers to set up the dogs to be able to walk properly on leash and not pull. That's one of the big problems for adopters that the dogs are big and strong and they pull. So if we as volunteers and rescue group can help the dogs be better on leash, they have a better success rate to stay in their new homes. Yeah. So that is for the dog to just learn that they're supposed to follow me. Yeah. So the leash is loose. She looks right. So I adopted a dog three years ago from the rescue group and she turned out to have a bite history which I didn't know and I didn't know anything about the rescue world at the time but since then I've become involved with Blue Man Dog and I've become involved with dog fostering and dog rescue and it's just become super clear to me that just because a dog has a bite history or has a bad history or has a bad behaviour doesn't mean that they're not a good dog. However, you can teach a dog to unlearn certain behaviours, you can work with dogs you know just because they've made mistakes doesn't mean that they're going to be like that for the rest of their lives so it's been a super rewarding experience working with dogs that have problems and getting them adopted into great homes. <laughs> when I first started fostering when I finally started getting to go to the shelter and pick out dogs Mia has suggested this gorgeous dog but I really didn't think she was going to get adopted because she was eight and I'm like I don't know if I would adopt a dog that's eight large breed but she came to live with me and she was the most amazing girl and I wanted to keep her actually and she got adopted right away. So my thought that adopting an older dog wouldn't happen was completely wrong. And then just a couple months ago, we came across another dog at the shelter that was eight years old and I didn't even have a second thought about pulling her because she was good and of course she did get adopted, so. That's great. Another dog is too much. Oh, okay. Hard oh, nice.